So, this is the fucks fuzz. Fucks fuzz. I have everything cranked because that's how you play fuzzes. Fuck it. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's very staticky and very little crowy without the 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 uh the octave on. I'll play a little of that and I'll show you what the octaves like. You will notice something strange about what happens when you turn the octave on to your amp. So let's just turn it on without the octave. Sorry, I had a tune. <laughs> uh, I have an 07 uh, Squire Jag Master here that I am turning into a Super Jag. I'm going to put a uh, kill switch on it. I did a little modification. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to car. I'm going to route out a Floyd and make it double locking. And the, the the it's a great guitar. Just the even the pickups are Duncan design and pretty good. It's just the, uh, the, 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 um, the tuning keys kind of suck, but I'm not going to change them out yet because I'm going to put a double locking system on it and it won't matter anyway because I'll just be using the fine tuners. Anyway, so yeah, here it is without it, uh, without the octave, uh, here it is with the octave. It picks up radio stations a lot easier for some reason. Anyway, but it sounds like this. As you can hear, you can ride those octave harmonics pretty hard. It's awesome. And the uh, the octave on uh, power chords, especially down tune, is super splatty. So, so that was cool. Uh, again, this is the Tone City Fux Fuzz through my sort of stock at the moment. <laughs> 07 Jag Master. And they're... Uh, Right now, I got one of them there. I don't know why I'm Southern now. Uh, well, fuck it. I got one of them there. Uh, orange, crushity, crushity, 20 RT, tickety do, uh, lookity box. No, soundy box, uh, poundy box here. I don't know. Early. Um, uh, so, yeah, just a little practice amp for now.
Uh, Got to put it in the big rig with the rock verb and the monster, everything. Uh, <laughs> amps I have downstairs. But for now, just this, clean into that. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I did that. And, uh, yeah, the, the fucks buzz here. Again, the, if single coils probably really pick this up, but. You can hear the music, it's weird. It sounds louder when I turn down the volume. Hawks 1067. Harrisburg. I'm picking up stations from just 20 minutes up the road. So here. Well, you know where I live. This is all bridge pickup, by the way. I'll uh, do some neck pickup and then both. I'll show both later. Uh, bridge. Neck. Sorry. Above the 12th, you really hear the fucking uh, octave screaming. Everything I'm doing is improv, by the way. Neck pickup. Uh, let's go back to the bridge just show the difference. Neck. Middle. Middle's good too. So, yeah, it's got some cool grady obnoxiousness to it. <coughs> the Fox Fuzz is more or less a slightly updated and tiny ass little clone. Again, a tiny ass little. <laughs> I'm not being eclipsed by Fuzz at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, Josh Scott fans will know what the fuck that means. Um, so, yeah. Damn it! Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a copy of a uh, mid seventies fuzz. I believe it was mid seventies. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Fox Tone Machine, which was either like a reddishy color or a bluishy purpley color, uh, and was actually fuzzy on the outside, like fuzzy, like blanket. It was cool. Uh, even though they're all, like, gross now, like, you know, like an old stink or something, if you're my age and had fucking He-Man and shit. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, they, they, they have that, um, that, that came out, and it was fucking amazing. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to get, be a truthful, I wanted to get the, uh, warm audio replica OEM fucking, or whatever, uh, NOS parts, germanium, old circuits. Blah, blah, blah. Um, exact clone of it, 
that was the uh, Warm Audio Foxy Tone Box, and it's fucking orange, which I love. Um, you'll see that later in my new in my new channel. But um, yeah, that's the one I want to get because it looks fucking cool. It's actually fuzzy and orange and the exact same damn thing, except they switch the way the octave is, so it's a little easier to flip up and down their foot. Um, but and it has a little LED. But anyway, yeah, it's it's a part for almost part for part. Well, yeah, I guess it's essentially part for part copy, uh, which is three times as much as this thing. And this thing's only like fifty bucks. And it's built like a. This is really heavy for a fucking uh, mini pedal. Um, the Fox Fuzz from Tone City once again. Uh, they're made in China, but they are made with some. I'm guessing some superior uh, QC compared to the other companies and I think they put a little more attention to detail in these. It actually came with like a little card that had with instructions that wasn't just a little foldy thing and a nice little box. And Yeah. They're really nice. I, I've seen the Tone City stuff. I know that uh, Andertons in uh, wherever the fuck that is and I'm guess, guessing the north somewhere of London with um, <clears throat> the Midlands sort of sound they talk in. Anyway, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, I know they carry a lot of Tone City shit, and I think they probably played this thing, and we're like, what the hell is this? Because, well, uh, I'll be honest, some... I love these YouTube channels, but they are blues guys playing things that are brought back because of metal players and weird players and alternative players and shit, you know? It's not... <clears throat> you can't just play some kind of blues deal over some of these pedals. You gotta be heavier. Or better. Uh, not better, just, you know, more... More versed. More well versed in other scales other than the uh, blues scales. Which I'm not versed in any scales, but I just kind of know what I'm doing because I'm weird. Uh, Self-taught! 30 years! <laughs> Again, I'm insulting people. Eh, I'm fucking almost Southern. I live in fucking Pennsylvania. Whatever. <laughs> uh, and I love Southern people. They're fucking really nice. Um, to me. Anyway, so... Yeah, the Fux Fuzz. F-U-X-X -X Fuzz. Uh, it's, yeah, it's really great. I'm really happy. Uh, again, just this little, little rig I got here. It sounds great. A little bit of reverb. I'll turn that... I'll turn it off because it's loud and noisy apparently. But I'm gonna have this uh, running parallel over my existing fuzz chain, probably with another fuzz mixed with it or something, which I can blend over top of uh, <clears throat> of uh, my current uh, fuzz chain, which starts off like it's in a loop. I have all this crap in a loop. There's a what's it go? mod tone compressor into a sorry a little bear woolly mammoth into a little bear r attack rat clone three diode selector uh it's all the rats in one essentially that goes into a idiot box effects dungeon master um with the chainsaw effect going but you know that treble knob you just got just a little back when you turn all the way up. Just back a little bit just so you get rid of some of that fizz. And it sounds much better. And still has shell chains. Oh. <laughs> anyway, and that goes into a fucking uh, uh, swollen pickle. And then that goes into an SD1. Which I'd like to take my... I wanna, I'm want. i actually talking to Saturn Works about building a... Uh, a... What do you call it? One of them thing called... That works. They uh, loopers. There we go. Uh, I want to get get one custom made that's two series and one parallel to do what I'm doing without the crap setup I have with it now, and just the one looper I have from them. So it'd be two series, one parallel with a blend, so I can blend in and out like the uh, the uh, crazier fuzzes I put over top, or any other weird shit I want to blend over over top of uh, my main tone, and uh, yeah. I'll see how much that costs. But yeah, Saturn Works makes some cool shit. I love them. Um, 
Yeah, anyway, so that goes in SD1, that goes into a Mosky um, Golden Horse, which is a clone clone, which sounds great. And SD1 is just literally a better version of a tube screener uh, from the boss, and they invented it. Uh, Ibanez just ripped it off and put a tone knob on it. That was the only difference. Boss invents everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, from like 77 on. Kind of. Anyway, but uh, so... So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes into a clone, clone, which sounds good enough. Fucking, I don't care. It's like it's twenty five bucks versus five thousand. I'm going twenty five, uh, and it's mini. Uh, that sorry, that goes into a Joyo Ultimate Drive, non Nazi made. Uh, come on, Fuller. Uh, uh, it's a clone of a full tone OCD obsessive compulsive drive, uh, which you run at eighteen volts to get the full majesty of it. Uh, it's a Joyo Ultimate Drive. It's a twenty-five dollar clone of this of a two hundred something dollar pedal made by somebody who said some really messed up shit uh, in the wake of um, George Floyd and uh, poor Breonna Taylor. Um, uh, you know, around that era, he around the time they all they died and everything came. What should have happened happened. You know, in the streets, obviously, not on the end of the cops, obviously not. They suck. <laughs> in and out. Fuck you, police. Um, whatever happened to fuck the police? What the? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> now that I probably got, I'm gonna get hate mail for posting this on fucking YouTube, aren't I? Oh no! Come at me, lib. I almost said libtards. I'm a fucking progressive. Uh, yeah, damn rednecks. Anyway, so enough getting myself killed because I live in a very red area. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, 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 I digress away from the Nazi crap. Uh, yeah, so he he invented the damn circuit, kinda. But I, I it, it's a uh, you know, China. I'm helping out China, which there's other issues there with some humanitarian things. Uh, look up Uyghurs. You won't be able to spell it, but look it up, and you won't be happy with China right now. Anyway. Yeah, I'm putting tidbits of this shit in there, aren't I? Fuck it, it'll be political too. I don't care. Maybe I'll do that in my in my in my new uh, YouTube series. Probably not, because I'd like to have. Nah, fuck it. If you don't, if you're in Nazis, fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> the fuck spas. No, so yeah, so I have this signal. It's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, it ends of the uh, OCD, and then uh, goes back to the loop, and then I have. Kind of parallel. It's half-assed because it's coming out of one of my synth pedals. Uh, a uh, Area Pro 2 uh, Flazer, I'd say. It's really weird. I guess it's a fl it's a flanger, but it kind of sounds like a... or It's a phaser, but it kind of sounds like a flanger, too. It's an old plastic 80s deal. Uh, that goes into... <clears throat> a... Uh, a uh, demon, I think they're made by Mosky, a tube screamer. Uh, a lot of these factors are the same, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, it's a tube screamer. Um, actually, it's just called a tube screamer, I think. Uh, it has an 808 and a TS9 switch. I prefer the TS9, to be honest. I don't know what the big deal is with the 808. It sounds kind of. But um, uh, I'm not a big fan of tube screamers anyway. They're, they're a good boost, I guess. Um, but otherwise, there's no fucking gain. And that's why I like the SD1 a little better. Um, so anyway, and then that goes into a K-Line, uh, what they call the Big Orange, <clears throat> which is like a orange overdrive amp sort of sound. It's dark, you gotta really turn the treble up if you want anything bright. But it's really cool. Um, somehow parallel, it's a huge boost to everything before it goes into my, uh, my, uh, 90, 1990 Yamaha EQ because my fucking Ibanez Series 1086 EQ got fried. Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> Gotta get that fixed. So, yeah, I have those like running into a splitter that goes into just a Y cable, which I, I need to do something a little more sophisticated. Um, and it goes into my, uh, my EQ so I can blend everything together. And I just kind of boost most of the shit, to be honest. And you know, you can turn an EQ and do a, uh, into an overdrive if you just push everything the fuck all the way up, pretty much. Maybe just pop down a couple mids. 
if you don't want it to be completely noise. But um, <clears throat> anyway, I digress. Uh, yeah, so what I want to do is put the uh, fucks fuzz from Tone City. Send me shit. I'll review it. Uh, I usually like everything. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the Tone City fucks fuzz. <clears throat> I got it for a little over 50 bucks with all the bullshit you have to pay on reverb and everything. Yeah. Reverb. Um, fucking Etsy. <laughs> Anywho. I let my politics be known even in the business sector. Fuck you, Etsy. So, um, the fuck's fuzz. Yeah, I'm going to run it parallel over with all that crap. And it should sound really cool. Do me, I guess. So, yeah, the again, the thing you can't see here, the fuck's fuzz. It's probably backwards on the screen. That's what it looks to me. So, it's a sub. Sub. Uh, no, no, never mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, get one today at online, because you face it, where the fuck are we buying anything now? Buy it online. Actually, I'm starting something called the Gear Lounge, where once the madness is over and we do it safely, you can come and just try out whatever the fuck I have for as, well, almost as long as you want. Pretty much everything you can't do at a music store, you can do at my place with giant amps, and you can crank them to 11, I don't give a shit. I'll even make a recording of the noises you make so you can show your friends to buy the shit that, that's out there and help you find the best price online or wherever or just, you know, help you find what you need without really selling you a lot other than the service of helping you find shit because it's impossible to try out 60 pedals at once or bring your own crap and put a big setup together and really try things before you buy. Because it sucks when you put... You know, you gamble on a $230 pedal and hope it sounds good enough. And and then have a, if it doesn't, you know, you got to either sell it yourself and make a loss or make a lot, take a loss by trying to send it back for most, most places or offer a fee uh, or have a fee for that kind of shit. And, um, you know, so yeah, it's, it's nice to be informed and be able to actually try something before buying it. We've lost that completely with the plague. Uh, COVID-19. It's 21, 20, 21, 21. No, it's 2021 right now. It's, uh, the day after the, uh, <clears throat> insurgency, uh, 